guys, I'm Donovan Myers, and I'm going to be walking through how to swap out the stock PCB from a Mad Cat's TE Fight Stick with a Peiwang Multi Console PCB. This video is going to be a little bit more advanced than my Aki Shop one, and that I'm not going to spend too much time on basic techniques. However, this mod is no more complex than that video. There's just a little bit more soldering. Uh, so let's get started by taking a look at the stick and coming up with a game plan for installation. Okay, so here we have the stock PS3 Fight Stick. I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. And yours will still have all of the buttons connected and a ribbon cables running from this PCB over to this punch down. You'll have a USB connection coming out of here and the stick wire will still be hooked up, I'm sure. Um, but I'm going to move this out of the way right now to show you how I think we should hook up the Peiwang. Okay, so this is the Peiwang PCB. Uh, it has connections for all of your buttons, uh, turbo and home. You can kind of see I've marked off uh, all these things to make this video easier. Uh, but this is turbo, back, home, and start, and then you have up, down, or up, right, down, and left. And then these little connections down here are going to be for the buttons. So my plan is to orient the USB up to the top like this. If you slide this over to the back corner here, there will be a way to line this up so that you get this hole right here onto one of the pegs that's for the Xbox PCB. Um, and then you could just put like a plastic washer over that and use a screw to hold it down or you could use some double sided tape. Now as far as the punch down goes for the buttons, my plan uh, is to use these ribbon cables that I've already cut to solder them in here. And that'll let us keep using the punch down and protect um, these from you know coming loose if we're in and out of our stick, uh, changing out buttons and stuff like that. The PCB, as you can see up here, the stock one with the turbo and home buttons, I've already soldered these wires from my Aki Shop video, and I'm just going to link to that one to show you how to do it, but these, um, this gray one is ground, this yellow one is power, and you need the power for the buttons to work correctly, and then blue and red uh, are turbo and home. I should have probably done red for the power, that would make more sense. Um, but we will just be soldering those wires directly to the um, signal points right here on the board. And then lastly we have the joystick points here. Now these look like you're going to need a signal and ground for each one, but this board is actually a common ground. So what we can do is actually just desolder these off of here and solder in the up, down, right, left wires from the harness. We can reuse this harness here uh, and then just pick one to solder the ground wire to. And that's it for the installation. Uh, the only other thing would be to run the USB cable out of here. I already have a giant hole because at one time I had a Nutrik jack in here. What you may have to do if you want to keep it clean is desolder the USB connection on here, run the wire through the stock hole, uh, and then solder it back in. Or, if you think that's too much of a pain, just make the hole bigger so that you can get the USB cable through. So, I think the first step here will be to desolder these points on here and get the stick harness wired up. Okay, so I have my solder station heated up to 730 degrees Fahrenheit. I have my solder suck ready to go. I've got pair needle nose pliers. And what I'm going to do is just heat up these contacts and pull out the uh, connector with the needle nose pliers at the same time. Get it out as far as I can, hopefully all the way out, and then use solder suck to just clean up the area. There you go, a little bit of force, I got it out. And I'll just uh, continue to do the rest and do the solder suck at the very end. Okay, so as you can see, I have all four connectors out. The thing that worked best for me was putting the tip down here to start melting the solder and then using the tip of the soldering iron to push down on the little points uh, sticking out there and then using my hand to pull it out the back while I kept applying heat. And that worked pretty well. Uh, just watch your hands so you don't burn yourself. So next I'm just going to use the solder suck to pull all the solder out of here so I can get some wires in there. Okay, so you can see here that all of the holes are nice and clean, 
and I'm ready to start soldering the harness. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so this is the stock harness that Mad Cat's provided for the joystick, and this is an official Sanwa JLF uh, harness, and so I'm just going to use this to help illustrate the wiring pinout here. You can see uh, on the Mad Cat's here all the goop on one side, the opposite side of that, the far left pin is the ground. So going from left to right we have um, ground, and then right, which is the green on the JLF harness, left, which is yellow, up, which is orange, and down, which is red. So what I'm going to do is just cut the other end off of here and use that order to solder those to the uh, Peiwang PCB. Okay, so I'm going to start with ground, and it can go to any of these holes on the left. The left of these pairs are all ground, and they're all common ground, and the right are all the signals. I'm also going to be coming through the top of the board because the USB connection is going in that way, and so I'm going to try to keep all my wires doing the same thing, uh, with the exception of the ones that we have to solder directly to the bottom here. And then if you watch my other video, you know I'm a big fan of the tug test. And don't worry about the tips on the end here, you can just trim those off once you get everything in, make them nice and straight. So the next one after ground would be right. So right would need to come through here. Okay, so the next one is left next but not least we have up and up is the first slot here next to where I did the ground you're gonna have to be super careful here not to let the solder touch here and cause a short okay and then finally lastly we have down All right, so the wiring harness is all wired up, and the uh, joystick part of this is taken care of now. The last thing I'm just gonna do is use my scissors or even um, like a little nipper to cut off all of these long points. There you go. All right, so the next step of this is to prepare the stock PCB to become just the, basically the turbo and home PCB. And what I've done here is cut off the ribbon cable for the buttons and wired up power and ground and uh, signals for the home and turbo. I'm going to link to the timecode in my AkiShot PCB video where you can just jump to that and watch that section real quick. The next step after that is soldering the other ends to the Paywind board. So as you can see here we have, as I said, turbo, uh, back or select, home and start, and you know, home or guide. And so I'm just going to scratch off the signal here on the left hand side, not off, but I'm going to scratch it enough that it's a little bit rough. And then I'm going to put some solder dots down and then I'm going to lay the wires in and heat it back up to stick them in. Okay, so the home and turbo connections are made. I'm also going to connect into the ground and power uh, of the USB cable. And something you might want to do like they did on the other side with the USB cable is put some hot glue over these just to hold it and protect the wires from wiggling it loose. Okay, at this point our home and turbo buttons should be working. The last thing to do is hook up the punch down for the, all of the buttons including start and select or back. So here I have my punch down 
with the ribbon cables and as you saw in the beginning of the video my ribbon cables are cut I cut them basically right at the halfway mark I would probably give yourself at least three quarters uh, this is gonna be a little tight on me and that should give you some slack so what we have here are two sets of ribbon cables one has five wires and one has six the one that has five uh, starting from red going from left to right is start select square triangle and then the one that has six going from left to right has L1, X, circle, R2, L2, and then your ground wire. The paywang goes R1, R2, triangle, circle, square, X, L2, L1, and then ground. So I'm just going to go ahead and solder these through. One little thing before I get started, to make this easier, I'm just going to pull uh, these out of here. You didn't even need to remove this from your stick. Okay, so here you can see I have all of the wires soldered in except for select and start, which I just need to uh, connect up the same way I did the home and turbo buttons. Alright, and that's officially done with the soldering. All I gotta do now is put all this stuff back in the stick and test it out. Alright, so as you can see here, we're back to kind of where we started. Uh, I have the punch down put back in. My ribbon cables, as you can see, are coming over here to the paywang, and they are tight. That is pro half of, is probably uh, the shortest you could go on that cable and still get away with it. I have the joystick cable here ready to be hooked up. And these uh, cables here, I'm going to uh, tighten together with a zip tie and get in there a little bit better. Uh, but that's basically it for this mod. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them and I'll see if I can get you an answer. Uh, and good luck. Okay, so here I have the stick plugged into my PC. I like to use it to test out because then you can see if it actually gets recognized by Windows, then you didn't have a short anywhere and then you also have this nice tester which shows you all the button presses. And we even have turbo.